State, the member for Eglinton Lawrence. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I just want to uh, say that it's a pleasure to speak to Bill 182 uh, from uh, the member from Mississauga Streetsville uh, and also the other members that spoke uh, that had their own private member's bill about, you know, the member from Muskoka had the bill about. Uh, Paved shoulders, uh, and the uh, member from uh, Parkdale High Park had her bill about the one meter rule, which was very important too. So they are dedicated to uh, making a shift here. Uh, as you know, Mr. Speaker, uh, coming from a municipality of Scarborough, which has the largest national park in Canada, right in the city, you got one right in your back door, uh, the Rouge uh, National Park. I mean, you could, you could spend a whole day cycling in Scarborough and uh, never see a human being. So I would, if you want to cycle, go to uh, the Rouge National Park. It's an amazing place, Scarborough in itself, along the waterfront. Anyways, uh, too, uh, this bill is really a bill that uh, gives an opportunity to promote uh, cycling. Uh, and it's not for all the reasons which are valid that have been mentioned about safety, which is critical, more awareness about safety, uh, the uh, health aspects, but I want to talk a bit about the economics of cycling. Uh, not enough of us realize that there is an incredible uh, economic mini-boom happening in cycling. I know I have one of the world's leading uh, bike manufacturers in the world in my riding, so I know it full well. It's called Cervelo. And uh, Cervelo uh, will sell bikes to the whole world, which is an amazing change. Whereas, because of the uh, labor, uh, competitive labor rates, we have uh, bikes that are imported from Taiwan and everywhere else, and uh, it's difficult to compete. But on the other hand, when we uh, produce quality uh, products like Cervelo does, some of their products, Mr. Speaker, uh, hold your hat, can sell for about $25,000. So people buy these via these bikes uh, for twenty-five thousand because they're of they're space age quality uh, products. So that's right here. It's a it's a thirty million dollar plus company, one little company. There's others, but most of the uh, economics of cycling goes to the retail end and the service end. There are over five hundred uh, bicycle retail outlets in uh, southern Ontario that we've counted, 500 outlets. That's people work, paychecks, selling, fixing, bikes and parts, 500. Uh, there are all over the place. I mean, I was going up Christie Avenue the other day. Uh, it was a nice, one of those sunny days we had. And there was a young man on a corner of, uh, right by Fiesta Farms there. He, uh, he, was, uh, he had a sign up and says, I'll give you a spring tune-up for your bike. So people were lined up down Christie as this young man, very industrious, was tuning up bikes. This type of thing is happening in back alleys, on streets like Harbour, St. Clair, Bath, all over the city of Toronto, and I'm sure all over uh, Windsor and Kitchener, where people are uh, starting their own businesses, small business, entrepreneurial uh, people that are all over the place that are either uh, repairing bikes, selling bikes, selling bike uh, accessories. Uh, you, you know, you go to Mountain Equipment Co-op, half the place is full of uh, bike accessories. So people are in the economy of the bicycle, big time. The other big part of the economy of cycling is in economic tourism impacts. It's about a $400 million a year industry. So if you want to attract tourists to Prince Edward County, or you want to attract tourists to Niagara Peninsula, you want to attract them to Mississauga, you want to attract them to uh, uh, York Region, Cambridge, beautiful place to cycle, and, you know, you have to acknowledge there are people with uh, money that will come to your place if it's safe and available for their bicycles. So they even have a program with VIA that uh, you, you can go uh, on the GO train. You can take your bike on the GO train, go to Niagara, get off, and cycle Niagara, a beautiful place in Ontario to cycle. And you know, all over Ontario, they're getting in Ottawa. It's a great place for cycling, up the canal. I've got pamphlets here from the Niagara region, from Bruce County, from Northumberland, Ottawa. Uh, but you know, part of the problem is you have to make it inviting. You have to welcome the cyclist. Because the cyclists will come, they will eat, they will stay in a bed and breakfast, they will drink the wine, eat the food, eat the cheese, the local uh, cheese from uh, those parts of Ontario. So it promotes local 
tourism, big time. Mm -hmm. And it's also a very important way of promoting this great province. They do it in Quebec, they do it all over Europe. You can go on bicycle tours in Holland, in, uh, in Denmark. It's big money in uh, cycling. So it's not just a, a namby-pamby thing, well, I'm going to get on a bike and it's great. Yeah, but it's big business, Mr. Speaker. Scarborough could have a business explosion. Invite cycling industries to come into Scarborough. Cycle the Rouge. I don't see any signs there that says, come to the Rouge and cycle. Bed and breakfast, stop and eat, have something to eat, have a glass of wine, get on your bicycle. This is what we should be doing. It's business opportunities in cycling. They're huge. And that's why I recommend that this bill will help promote the business aspects of cycling, really. It's the safety, it's the uh, health aspects, but it's also the business of cycling. It's a very important new area of investment that we can make. They're timely a time out. But I just want to say, I want to thank uh, Howard Brown and Eleanor McMahon for their advocacy through Share the Road. I want to thank the Minister uh, of uh, Transportation for pushing safety uh, on cycling, uh, with cycling, with the uh, fines for dooring. Uh, we can finally maybe cycle on paved shoulders. Uh, one day we'll have a big glass of wine with my friend from Muskoka when that happens. When the dooring fines come in, we'll have another glass of wine. So we'll be cycling and drinking wine all through Ontario and having a great time. Thank you. <laughs>